Uh, it would be really cool if I could see my navigation and record a video at the same time. I don't think I can. What's going on, people? I'm on the highway, and for the next four miles, I have time to speak because I am going to take an exit. Um, and after that, I'm going to need my navigation again. So before that, I can speak. So um, I want to make a quick, short video and tell you guys about how life has actually been really great. And a lot of things coming to light for me and um, a lot of great things. Um, and I want to share that energy um, with you guys and I want to share that energy with um, my family and my friends but it's just kind of tough sharing that energy um, because of first of all how everybody's mindset is nowadays you know everybody is in their own shell everybody's trying to stay protected and this you know energy of truth the energy of understanding doesn't uh, shine uh, how can I put this the people who are trying to stay protective protected um, of themselves they are blocking that type of energy uh, from shining onto them and bringing light to them so I have been slacking, but I do want to make some videos and speak my heart and tell you guys how I feel about the world right now. And it's been a year since I've been, a year, I mean, too, like everybody's been confused, everybody's been worried, everybody's been scared. And, uh, you know, I want to do my part to help with that. And I haven't been doing that in the best way possible. At first, I thought that I'm supposed to just trigger the wounds in everybody and, you know, make everybody, like, shook. You know, so I would walk into a store with no mask and then this lady, like, I remember, like, talking about this on one of my other Instagram videos and I feel kind of ignorant because of it. Because... In that video, I was talking about how I was sharing my truth and I was going into the store not wearing a mask and, you know, being proud of myself and all that stuff, which you know, I'm not going to speak on whether that was the right thing to do or not, but I did ignore the way everybody was feeling in that store. I decided to close my eyes on how I would scare people and make people feel uncomfortable which is not a bad thing but it's inconsiderate of me to not consider that um, yeah anyway I'm approaching my exit going into the exit now so I'm gonna need my need my, 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 my navigation so oh wait I can get navigation while I'm doing this yo let's go okay um all right, this is good actually. So I gotta go towards South Shore. Where, let me let me see. Just give me one second. Let me see if I can navigate this. South. Okay, this is good. Anyway, I guess I can keep speaking. Um, what am I gonna say? Okay, well, I'll I'll start off with an apology. Because, you know, I have been ignorant in the past and I have been arrogant in the past. And I can't promise that that I will put an end to that right away. Um, but I can promise that I'll give it my best every day and become better every day. Um, 
give it my best. So, yeah, I'm actually really bothered. I don't know where I'm going, so I'm gonna look at this navigation thing and then I'll record another video. All right, cool. I gotta be on this highway for um, 12 miles. I'm going for exit 26. Keep that in mind. I'm gonna turn on this light so y'all can see me. Anyway, uh, okay. There's a lot of great things that are happening right now in the world. And I'm not the most knowledgeable person. And I can't really speak from scientific standpoints, but I was speaking with a friend of mine the other day and I was telling him about how, you know, a lot of people think spiritual stuff, spiritual talk is voodoo, but it's really not in at a really really like I don't know what to call it like a, it's 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 dealing with energy and that is science but science hasn't caught up to it yet um, and it will but you know you know we just gotta you know you, you can be uh, you can judge it for yourself if it feels right in your own heart then you can trust it and go with it and do what you believe is right but you only know that truth when you really know it when when you know something then you know it knowing is different than thinking you know so It's okay to question things. It's okay to ask why, ask how, ask where. You know, we've all been judged and punished for asking questions or for you know, stepping out of our comfort zone or for, you know, daring to ask for more or seek more or believing in ourselves or, you know, there's all of these traumas deeply ingrained into all of us and it's literally vibrating in our cells. It's traumas that have been carried on for thousands and thousands of years like literally in my cells there is actually scientific research that your cells your DNA carries emotional trauma so the DNA that was passed on to me from my father from his father from their father from his father from generations of people who were in war people who experienced horrible things people who experienced beautiful things all of those things have been passed on you know and I have I've, there's so much I want to say and I don't want to go in too many different directions so I'll try to speak about this one I guess um, one of my personal goals has been recently I've made a personal goal for myself to um, heal this emotional trauma I don't I don't know what, what, what kind of trauma it is actually it's probably emotional physical mental spiritual all all everything and I want to heal as much of it as I possibly can within my lifetime and I know that I can't heal it 100% I know that it's thousands of years of trauma. I can't do it. But I know I can do something. And I will do something. You know, 
I believe that we can all either become a victim of all those traumas and allow them to control us and make us feel like life is happening to us. You know what I mean. Or we can transcend them. We can, you know, rise above these things and know that we are bigger than these problems. Know that we are stronger, you know. I've said it before, I'll say it again. And I know you've heard this before, but you are made for everything that you are meant to deal with. You know, life wouldn't hand you something that you're not capable of dealing with. So believe in yourself and, you know, healing all these traumas. It's going to start real slow. It's going to pick up. It might get slow again. It's going to pick up. But, you know, it's going to be a journey. It's going to be a roller coaster. And throughout your life, you know, if you, if you want the future generation to be more prosperous, to be more happy, to be more lively, then you got to be more lively and bring more life into your story, into your life. How do we do that? Good question, if, if you ask that. Um, you can start real simple. Eat better food. It's so important, so important. And it's really good to go find out what better food really means and I'm on my way to finding out as well I used to think that it's you know like cut out cut out fast food and eat vegetables but it's not that simple you gotta really go find some really rich soil and there's a lot of different factors that go into it but we can get into that in a separate video but eating good food moving your body getting energy to circulate through your body your body just is a such an intelligent machine and it heals itself when there's energy circulating through the, your body your body just automatically heals itself there's like so many different mechanisms in your body at the same time working to maintain your homeostasis there's just like so much and it's you know it's it's so incredible it's beautiful and when you give it more energy and better energy and more potent energy to deal with, then it does a better job. There's that. You know, getting energy to move, uh, becoming more still, um, mindfulness, practicing mindfulness, um, you know, practicing the art of detachment but not confusing that with uh, disassociation. Um, you know, and there, there's countless things that you can do, but these are just some places that I had up, off the top of my head that, you know, you could start doing today and get started. You know, start off slow. The slower the process, the more you learn, the more you earn, the more you enjoy it. And it is a really, really, really fun and fulfilling process. So, I hope that my words can uh, reach you guys where they're meant to. love to everybody out there stay safe stay healthy stay beautiful <laughs>